it's time for another giveaway. What we have decided to do for the month of May, and I'm sorry that I didn't get this out last week, it just totally slipped my mind with all the stuff that we've got going on around here. And I even told my son, I said, I screwed up because I didn't put the giveaway in last week's video. He says, Dad, it's okay. I said, no, it's not okay. Because I have lived my life trying to be very responsible uh, about the things that I do. And I felt bad because, you know, my responsibility, uh, because this is the way that we started our channel, is to be on time every time, not only with the videos, but with the giveaways and everything else that we do. So I do apologize for not getting in those in last week. I just did not have time. But anyway, what we have decided to do for the month of May, because I've had so many comments about this, we're going to give away two of these. We're going to give away one for the Outpost channel and one for the Review channel. Two of these away for the month of May. Um, they're really nice. They got a hole in them right there where you can put your finger in. Um, if you didn't have other fingers, you could basically twirl it, but you would be afraid when it would come around, they would cut those other fingers off. Because honestly, folks, from the factory, this is pretty doggone sharp. Um, it's got a nice feeling handle. It's very ergonomic. Um, it's nice wood that they've got. It's got a little place back here. You could actually put a lanyard if you wanted to. And it's curved, so you can kind of use it like an ulu, which is one of those half moon circle knives that the Eskimos use. Um, and it's really nice for chopping up the vegetables. It's wide, uh, probably I'm thinking, um, it's not quite a quarter inch, so maybe three sixteenths wide and then it tapers down to almost nothing right there. So it's built really nice. I don't think that it's going to break off uh, too easy. But I had so many comments about this. So we're going to go ahead and give two of these away. So if you're grilling out in the backyard or if you're out living like I am or just plain um, working inside the kitchen on the inside of the house, be able to use one of these knives from Husk, uh, which is a Japanese uh, type uh, company. Uh, then, you know, you will have something that you can chop those veggies up with that really does work really well. I've even cut my meat with it too and it does a really good job on that. So this is what we're going to give away for the month of May. So I'm going to move over to the computer right now. We'll find out who the winners were for the month of April. Okay guys, I have got the uh, random picker pulled up here. This is the Outpost channel. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this link. We're going to go over to the random picker. We're going to insert that. We're going to get all the comments for that video. And then we're going to drop down here and start the raffle. So this is for the Outpost channel for the month of April. And it looks like Charles Vila, you are the winner for the Outpost channel. Then we will go up here to the review channel we will copy this link we'll go back to the random picker we'll highlight this and delete it we will paste in the new one get all the comments and we will go down and start the raffle so it looks like Richard Knowles you are the winner for the review channel so Richard and Charles, congratulations to you two on winning up here at the Outpost giveaway. Be sure and send us some information through our Smoky Mountain Outpost at gmail.com on how we can get in touch with you and get these items ordered as quick as possible and get them shipped out to you. We hope that you get many years of good use out of them. So now let's get back to the video.
what are we doing? Big old girl. This material that I was cutting up right here, this is going to be in preparation for building a platform to go up by the outdoor kitchen to catch the rainwater off of the roof in order to water the raised beds behind the cabin. I'll also probably go ahead and put a tee in it, that way I can run it down to the sink and then I can have water for cooking outdoors. Um, I'm also going to cut um, some cedar trees over here beside the cabin in preparation to uh, build a platform for our new Starlink satellite. This is probably going to be my best view that I'm going to be able to get of the northern and the eastern sky which primarily I did hook it up temporarily and it was kind of scanning in this area mostly. Now I'll probably have to take out this spruce tree at the corner of the cabin which that's okay because I'm going to be planting some more trees once I start landscaping and I will do that uh, where it's not going to obscure uh, the line of sight for the satellite. Also, that great big poplar tree that's over there by the sawmill, when it comes down, it's going to provide a much better view. Now, the platform that I'm going to build is going to be 20 feet up, which will be about six, uh, four to six feet higher than the roof of the cabin. So I think that that tower is going to have to go uh, right here. So I've got some cedar trees. Now this one right here, the top got broken out of during the snowstorm. And I've also got two more right beside it. And then I've got one down there behind the outdoor toilet that I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut. They're all about the same size. I need to cut them 22 feet because I'm gonna bury two feet into the ground. And then that will get me up 20 feet. So my intentions are building a platform to mount the dish on. I'll also leave a hole in the deck so that I can go up with another uh, like a metal pipe because I'm going to try a wind turbine up here uh, we seem to get a little bit more wind than what we used to and it may be enough to go ahead and turn that turbine I'm not really sure but I think that it will they're not all ex expensive um, I can get some that range anywhere from 159 to um, I think it was four five six hundred dollars one of the wind turbines that I was actually looking at uh, ran about 250 bucks and so I'll go ahead and invest that. We'll put it up here. We'll try it. And I think that it's going to work. Um, it will just be that much more that it can add to um, building up the capacity of the batteries uh, when we get our solar power. So I'm going to go get the chainsaw. We'll lay these three down. Now it's threatening rain back and forth. I had another project that I was going to work on in the cabin. But we'll see if we can't go ahead and get these because we're actually paying monthly for that satellite even though it's not in use right now. So I need to go ahead and get this tower built and put into the ground so that we can get that satellite mounted. So let me go ahead and get my tools out and we'll get busy.
Well, I went and picked up 24 pallets that were free. Uh, where my brother-in-law works, they actually uh, get their machinery and a lot of their supplies delivered on these, and they end up throwing them away. So I went this morning, I picked up 24 of them, as much as I could safely transport on my truck. Um, and what my idea is, is once we get the new barn built, uh, this sawmill, I'll take and set those on the ground to start stacking my wood because I'm going to turn this into a wood shed and it will still allow um, the wood to be able to breathe, but it won't be sitting on the ground where it will get wet or, or wick moisture up from the ground. So those are very valuable because they pretty much, since they're plastic, they will last, you know, a lifetime. So what I think I'm going to do is hook up my big trailer and go back and get 50 more because I've got an idea on using them to build a greenhouse. So y'all be sure and stay tuned for that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get my truck moved. I've got to start um, debarking these poles to build the tower for our new communications. You know, I get a lot of comments off of the videos that I make. Why do I do this? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to remove all the material that you can because this is where the bugs actually live, up underneath the bark, and they will continue to eat on the wood. It just provides them a uh, place to stay, and they will continue to chew on the wood. So by removing the bark, it doesn't leave them anywhere to reside. So once I remove all of the bark, then I'm down to the wood. The next thing that I will do is I will burn it because that helps to preserve the wood so that it will last longer. It's been done for generations um, and it will also make it uh, a little bit more waterproof um, besides the um, bugs they really don't like I guess the, that charcoal taste so it just helps to preserve the wood much much longer but like I said the first thing you got to do is you've got to remove this covering so that they don't have anywhere that they can um, live and continue to eat on the wood. Well, I want you to looky here. I have got timber oil, sawdust, shavings everywhere, but I have now got these done. It's pretty much taken all day to do that. Um, got all the bark removed from it, got the ends burnt, and got them coated with timber oil. So the next thing will be, the next trick's gonna be getting them in the ground. But uh, I've got some help coming, so hopefully you know we can do it safely and get these four posts up and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to about every four feet I'm going to start bracing them as I go up uh, and then I want them to lean in just a little bit so getting them set like that um, I'm not going to put any concrete in the hole I'm just going to dig the hole and set these down in there uh, so that once I start putting the bracing on I can kind of move them as I need to 
Um, but anyway, that's that's the idea. So we'll see if it works that way. But uh, anyway, I'm going to pick up and move these over and hopefully when my help gets here we can get them all set in the ground. Well now that I've got those poles ready to go, it won't be long until that tower starts going up. I've got to do some site prep work. I've got to dig the holes. I've got to manage somehow to get them in those holes. And then I've got to start the bracing uh, and building as I go up. My son, my daughter, myself, we thank you so much for supporting us on both of our channels. We can't thank you enough. So from the bottom of our heart, we give you all a big thumbs up. We hope that each and every one of you have a great week. You all take care. And we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.